was bizarre. That's an early beast. You know what? I'm uh, going to do this it. the professional way. Have a nice day! <laughs> Today, we're going to unbox R9 290 graphics card from right. XFX. And we're going to unbox this and put it into our system. I'm worried about the double dissipation. Double dissipation. Sounds painful. Uh, uh, right, uh, <laughs> let's get cracking then. So, this card is a 4 gig card, 4 gig of RAM in it, DDR5, DisplayPort, HDMI, dual DVI slots, the R9290, not the X. I should have ordered it. <sighs> I know, we should have gone for it. Let's go in, let's get cracking. Let's have a look inside it. So this is the first time we've looked in here to see what you actually get in the box. So let's have a look. They're nicely packaged, I have to say, which is good. We like nice packaging. Uh, for the XFX, like I said. Just move that down so we actually see what's going down in Funky Town. So you've got a nice XFX on the box there, a nice little green tree to so say that it's been, you know, produced fairly and efficiently, I suppose. Inside, warranty card, which we probably will have to fill in because these cards are like flagship cards. Uh, some sort of brochure on other products they sell. XFX went quite quiet for a while, so it's nice to see them back on the scene with these sort of things. Uh, loads of adapters for the display port. Uh, uh, another warranty card. Oh, of course you get the ins uh, driver install CD and install guide, but yeah. everyone gets it from the internet. Yeah. Don't they? So, we know, as we know. Nice little pouch for the driver disc. I like that, to be fair. It's quite a nice little cardboard pouch. Not making like a little CD plastic wallet thing. Shiny. That's, yeah, that's quite nice. Um, in here we get... Oh, so we get some... Oh, that's cool. So they give you two... They give you a two Molex to six pin, which is pretty cool. And uh, two six pin to an eight pin adapter if you need. If you've got an older power supply with two six pin adapters on it. And you can obviously need a six and eight pin at the end. So that's pretty cool. I'll put them aside. And let's get to the card. Uh, let's have a look at this. Oh my goodness. Um, look at this card. Bloody Houston, have, you huge. have a problem. Oh my goodness. Holy smokes. This thing's like, it's, he it's so heavy. What? It weighs a ton. Like this thing is nice. It is heavy. I'm just going to pass this over to the Monroe Meister. You know, feel how heavy that is. How <laughs> big that card is. Whoops. Uh, will it still work? No, I don't think it will. Yeah, we'll have that back now. It's oh dear, oh dear. It's an sexual uh, anti static bag packaging, that ESD packaging that no one ever takes any notice of because, I don't know, everyone just like, I don't know, holds a desk or we something. We have got an anti static map. Yeah, we got, should have done this properly. Yeah, we've got an anti static map, but you know what? I'm going to uh, do this it. the professional way and open it. Oh my goodness, it's oh, ways. I just want to reiterate how heavy this card is. Like, I mean, we've got. Oh, it's a lovely card. We've got some. Uh, over here, we've got the. <laughs> <laughs> over here, we've oh, got dear. the R9270X. <laughs> and this card is great, very powerful, and it's nowhere near as heavy as this R9290 here. It weighs an absolute ton. I can't believe how heavy that is. Mm. The heat dissipation on this must be intense. So. This is a lovely card. I mean, I am ever so impressed with this. So you've got two large cooling fans here on the front fascia. Um, you've got a six and an eight pin, a power adapter for it. You've got XFX logo on here. I like the little silver look yeah, to it. It's quite nice. nice. You've got, you know, all the way around it is sort of sealed plastic. You've got a metal sort of base around it as well. And obviously the XFX logo is it doesn't well, look like an angry racing car. Doesn't look no. It doesn't look angry like this one. Yeah, it, this one looks quite, you know. <laughs> whereas this one's more. Yeah. <laughs> like a cow. Like yeah. a cow. I've heard that this actually lights up. The XFX logo lights up. We'll get a video of that somehow. I'm sure. So that'd be quite cool. Not that you'll see it in this system because it's going in the micro system. If it will fit. Yeah. If not, we'll have to. I don't know. That, that's going to be a tight fit, but um, <laughs> it's only about a centimetre longer, to be fair. So we should be able to get it in That'll still. That'll be fine, because we've yeah. got lots of cable space We, we can, apparently can fit a Titan in our system, so we should be able to fit it in somehow. Um, the back, obviously, is a black PCB, which makes it really nice. A bit like the BFGs used to be, where they used to be green as well, actually, to be fair. But yeah. So that's a, a quick look at the card. You've got a dual-link DVR on the back here, and these support up to 4K. You can actually have four monitors running from this. 
Uh, I like the little XFX, uh, I don't know if you can see that there on the camera, hopefully. XFX little vent here. Um, you, like I said, you can have four monitors, I put 4K each on this. So, one, two, three, and four. So, you've got like mini display port, display port, and two DVIs together. But yeah, I just want to point out how, how nice this card is. It's a you know, nice looking card, it's, it's built really well. It's only about a centimetre longer than this uh, existing card. It's actually thinner than this card. So you can see that the pipes yeah. on it stick out further. But this is a more sleek design. It's quite well, nice. Minimalist, isn't it? Yeah, yeah the yeah. fans are a lot larger. And uh, yeah, we'll get it in the system and we'll see how it performs. More videos to come. I'm Drake Billy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs> 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 Shit, they're rubbish. Terrible cards, absolutely awful.